I'm not Nepali. I'm not Nepali. Not Nepali. I cannot speak Nepali. I'm not because I would know I don't have Nepali. I swear. Why do I respond? I don't. I don't understand. I'm not Nepali. I'm not Nepali. What's your name? Shifa. You don't trust me. I'm not Nepali. I swear. I'm not. Nepali or what is that? <laughs> oh my god, what should I do? I have to say. You have to say. Nepal and BBC. Where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia. Nanti Banasuda, what's your name? Not Nepali. How old are you? 27. You don't trust me? Yeah, yeah. Now you trust me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Good morning from Bandipur. It is a small Nepali's charming town. I have been here for about a week because I love it so much. If it's not cloudy, behind me is Himalayan view. Bandipur is an important stop between India and Tibet. Trading routes for many years, for centuries actually. Bandipur is located in the Midway Drive of Kathmandu and Pokhara. It is a well-preserved Newark town that has hardly changed. Flying through forests on the historical trail at Dundre Bazaar, Bandipur today invites travelers to experience its unique offerings while retains its age-old cultural attributes. In the 1800s, this bazaar town grew in wealth and importance due to the fact that traders used to come from Tibet and India. However, when Nepal opened its doors to the world in the 1950s, Pokhara began to gain importance. And in 1972, the Kathmandu Pokhara Highway bypassed Bandipur altogether. While many Newar hill towns lost their distinctiveness after joining the highway grid, Bandipur retained its originality. Because Bandipur's merchant class had built sturdily, their buildings have stood firm and are used today once more to house shops cafes and lodgings. These are local houses, very much a living place for local people here, not here just because of the tourists. One of the many things Bandipur has is viewpoint. It's been what, very cloudy for the past two days and sun becomes a luxurious thing. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Usually sitting down right here is the way how she sunbathes, which is really nice because during the day it gets really cold, yeah? So even though Bandipur is quite a touristy place, not as touristy as Pokhara and Kathmandu, the idea in itself for this place is a still living community for local people to have a day-to-day -day life from school, work, farming.
for the past week I've been coming back to the same place over and over because Bandipur in itself is a local um, village is a very small area and for local tourists or even international tourists the main attraction is located within this particular main street because they have a lot of um, restaurants accommodations that has old buildings very rustic and beautiful at the same time because it slightly feel like Europe due to plenty of cafes outdoor sitting type of situation it's very relaxing and slower pace of life in comparison to Kathmandu or even Pokhara and Lumbini. You can get away with many days here in Bandipur and fall in love. Salt. The reason why a lot of people come here only for a day because there's not enough things to do other than to relax and see. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that For the first time mm -hmm. You know we should work it out You know we should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask you Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And this particular place, Bandipur, I've seen a lot of um, stones that are used for roof, um, stairs, or even floors. Look at that behind me. I know I'm feeling something for you. very quiet because even though it's Sunday it is not the days off for Nepalese Nepalese only has one day off around Friday and Saturday but mostly it's only Saturday I was stopped just now <laughs> because local would say I thought you're Nepalese which is something that I've heard a thousand times now <laughs> it seems like it's too foggy to even see everything behind me it's been really foggy and cloudy for the past couple of days but I think this is what it is known as Tundik Hill so it's a basically viewpoint and in the past it was a trading stop for old traders who are cross-bordering between India and Tibet In centuries past, traders would gather on this man-made plateau to haggle for goods from India and Tibet before starting the long trek to Lhasa on the Indian plains it was also a former parade ground for Gurkha soldiers. I've seen a lot of plastics, trashes. Please do not litter at this type of place because it's beautiful. It's just too sad. At times like this, I wish I have a drone. I truly wish to.
I've actually prepared my talking points and research as to what is it about Bunny Pro that I can show you about. Namaste! <laughs> You're here! Come here! Can you see? Yeah? Can you see her? Can you see her? <laughs> you are Nepali? No, I'm not Nepali. Bye bye. Bye bye. One of characteristics about Newari buildings is that they have a very low doors in which you have to bend over a little bit. So behind me is called Samai Baji Baji. One of the very decent restaurant I would say and because there are not plenty of options a lot of times I would go for locals if I want to treat myself I would go for chili momo so this is the owner you want to say hello 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 you just checked my YouTube huh? you just saw my YouTube yeah yeah I do that what are you eating I'm just eating for the got pickles uh -huh. and uh, like newari food oh that's newari food yeah that one's similar also newari food so we take uh, snacks in the day. Oh, that's snacks? Yeah. That's snacks? Yeah. That looks like rice and milk. <laughs> that's another boss. Hi. <laughs> they have such a good food. This is cow milk. Oh. My boss, just local can I ask for a little bit of sugar? Yep. What? Seems like there is an ongoing event for, not event, some, some kind of filming situation that requires some kind of local wearing traditional dresses and play traditional music. <laughs> beautiful dresses and a lot of hustle because filming recurs this and that how many takes I think it probably is for a commercial or something because by the buildings Bandipur has a unique taste and very charming lovely and some kind of that it is perfect for everyone who wants to come for filming
my momo is ready. I have fried momo. You wanna say hi? Hello. hello, hello. <laughs> I have fried momo, yeah? Fried chili momo. Ah, it smells so good. Whoa. Chili Momo, check this out. This is what I can live for every day. Eat this every single day without a fail. There are two staples that you would see everywhere. You would find that easily. First being chow mein, which is like basically fried noodles. And second, it is Momo, basically dumplings. So much Chinese influence in Tibetan spicy food. And in combination with chicken Momo, it is glorious. If they are owner, cook who appreciate food, the food will be tasty. This is my highlight of trip in Bandipur. It's getting dark and cold. I think I'll just say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's not the best structure of a vlog, but I hope that you enjoy the other side of Nepal that probably you didn't know because I didn't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.